These plants first became popular in the 1600s. Uh, Chenopodium capitatum, I believe is the butchered version of the Latin name, uh, also known as strawberry spinach, beetberry, uh, goosefoot, strawberry blight, um, a whole bunch of names. Uh, there's features that are similar between these two varieties. Um, the one on the left is uh, looks like the variety that is native to North America as well as Europe. Um, the one on the right, I've only ever seen it locally. I haven't seen photos of it online, so I'm not sure what the differences are um, or what the name is of the one on the right to be able to identify it. Um, the, the similarities are they both have mild tasting leaves that are great in salads because they don't overpower dressings and things like that. Uh, the berries are very mild in flavor, but I enjoy the flavor. I really like them. Uh, my husband really likes them. Uh, some people dislike them, so it's personal preference as to whether this is for you. Uh, but I like the fact that they're nice and mild and can go good in salads. The one on the left, um, you can see the leaf color is a little bit different, not much. Uh, berries obviously look a little different as well. Um, they're a little bit sweeter than the ones on the right. The ones on the right are a little bit juicier, so uh, it's just different uh, advantages and disadvantages. Um, both of them have had a little bit of issue with um, leaf miners, which you can see in this, but overall the plants have been healthy and it hasn't uh, been anything to cause damage. Uh, this has definitely been a bad year for the leaf miners. Uh, the biggest difference between the two is that uh, the one on the left, uh, this was a volunteer plant. It came back on its own from seeds that spread from last year. The one on the right uh, also came back on its own, but it's much more invasive in its tendencies. So uh, you can see that there's just a couple of strands of the one on the left, but the one on the right has just taken over this bed. So this is a five foot wide by 16 foot long bed. And I mean, you can see that it's just spilling over. Uh, so it's been really problematic choking out the other plants that I have. So. Um, which is partially my fault, but in the future I won't be growing these in raised beds. I will just grow them in areas where it is okay for them to take over. Um, and the, the one from Rare Seeds is definitely better in terms of not um, uh, having those aggressive tendencies that are problematic in a raised bed garden. But I'm curious to hear what do you like? Have you tried both of them? Have you tried either of them? Uh, I really like them, but some people don't like them. Some people love them. So everybody has their own preference as to what is good for them. Let me know in your comments what you think.